I'm now 738. What's up, Amanda? Well, you know, all this week, it is National Lightning Safety Awareness Week, and we live in a place that, you know, sometimes sees a lot of lightning. More often than not, we are the lightning capital of the United States because we see so much lightning, so it is important to be informed about the dangers. Looking at the lightning fatalities here from 2006 to 2018, the activities with the most deaths here actually related to fishing, uh, walking on the beach, camping, farming, and the list goes on. Thankfully, we have decreased the number number of lightning fatalities that we see each year and that's mostly due to awareness because if you're outside and you hear thunder you are close enough to a lightning strike to actually be struck. Look at this as well. The victims by gender 80% of lightning fatality victims are male. Now that's mostly because a lot more males do those outdoor activities than females do. It's not because males are just more prone to being struck by lightning. Anyone can be struck by lightning and lightning can actually strike up to 10 miles away from the nearest raindrop. So if you hear thunder, head indoors because even if it's bright blue sky and you hear thunder, you are close enough to being struck. Head inside a sturdy structure but avoid plumbing and any water usage. Don't use any electronics. Don't lean on concrete walls that have any rebar in them because electricity can travel through that metal as well. And avoid the porches and the windows. I know it's fun to look at, but you got to stay safe. If you want to know how far lightning is away from you, how far it actually struck, you can use the five second mile rule. Now for every five seconds that goes by from when you see a lightning strike to actually hearing the thunder, that is one mile. So if it is less than five seconds between the lightning strike and the thunder, that means that lightning struck less than a mile away from you.